Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to animate like any visuals in After Effects. So, first create a new comb and rename it as me. Width 1080, height 1920, duration 10 seconds. Let me add some videos into the timeline. Make it 3D by clicking here. Let me add a new camera. No need to change anything. First, let me animate this video. Go over here, change one view to two views, change active camera to top. Select this video and drag Z axis down, which is this violet color right here. Open scale and degree scale size. Adjust rotation position. Now let me select the camera and drag it to top. In left side, you can see the camera movement. Let me select the second video right here. Open scale and decrease the scale size. Adjust position and rotation. Now if you see on the right side, you can see this line. This is the second video. Let me add a background image to the timeline. Let me add a background image to the timeline. Hi, just give me a minute, let me talk to my past self. Did I hear? Let me add background image to the timeline. Two times? You clearly don't pay attention while editing this video, right? <laughs> Keep your mind straight. Me from the past. Uh, thank you. So this is just a screenshot of my YouTube channel. Place it at bottom. Go to effects and presets and add Gaussian blur. Change blurriness to 30. Add gradient ramp. Blend with original to 50%. Change ramp shape to rail ramp. Start an end color to black. Let me place this line over here. A line means video over here. You can see the distance between these two videos. Let me animate the third video. Same steps, just place this video over here. So let me just fast forward it. All I did was change position, scale, and rotation of each video. So this is the background video. These are the videos. So I just make this into a spiral way. Next I will set a keyframe for position at the beginning. Go a few frames forward and place the camera over here. Easy to work keyframes. Add motion blur to all these videos. Except background image. Add drop shadow to all these videos. Now I want to rotate the camera, so set a keyframe over here. Go a few frames forward and change the rotation to minus 10. To spice up the video, go to camera and increase the aperture. You can see a blur effect over here. <clears throat> hey man, we saw that, we saw that uh, there's a blur effect. I, we can see that. Yeah, you can stop with the auto animation. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Set a keyframe here. Go a few frames forward and decrease the aperture. Now we are going to add test. Create a new comb and rename it as date.
You see type tool, I am going to add a test. Create a new solid. And go to effects and presets and add saber. So this is a third party plugin. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Under customization core, change core type to test layer. Test layer, select the test. Change color to white. Go to preset and change preset type to narrow. Adjust glow intensity and core type. Create a duplicate of these two layers. Change Monday to Tuesday. Set a solid layer under Saber. Change this layer to Tuesday. Create another duplicate. Change this to Wednesday. Go to Saber, change this layer to Wednesday. Also make every test transparent. Just select the solid layer and go to Saber, render settings, change composite settings to transparent. Do this for every solid layer. Pre comb each test and solid layer. Let me add a background solid layer just to see the test. Make it all 3D. Change one view to two view and active camera top. Add 3D camera. As we done before, place each test like this. Set a camera in open position, set a keyframe at the beginning, go a few frames forward and place the camera over here. Let me delete the background solid layer, select the date comb and place it on top. Go back to date comb, double click on the Monday comb. Let me add a background solid layer so that we can see. Select the test and go over here and select the small arrow icon right here. Now our test changed to outline. Delete the background layer. Do the same for all the other tests. Let me add a mobile image to the timeline. Place this below the 3D camera. Change this layer into 3D. Now, if you remember this, this is the background image. I want to place this mobile image over here. Let me adjust the scale, position and rotation. I want this to come from right to left. So set a keyframe for position and drag it to the right. Go a few frames forward and drag it to the left. Now go to camera and open position. Set keyframe over here. Go a few frames forward and make the camera zoom in. Let me increase the scale size of the background image. Yeah, and that's the latest of boys and girls. If you found this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.